So I'm Leslie. And I'm Brian. We are the Ottos. We've been married for 12 years this time. <laughs> We've been together for 32 years. So yes, there's a little part of our story that's all about that. Um, we have two grown children, 31 and 23. Yeah. We have a cabin up north, so we like to get away. Um, so a log cabin, been doing some work on it. Uh, just to get away with, you know, with the dogs. We go ATVing, hiking on the trails and uh, state parks and that, so it's yeah. fun. Cat kayaking once in a while. Mm. Yeah, outdoor stuff. And pool? Oh no. Well, I like pool, so it gives me my quiet time, I guess you can say. Um, yes, for both he of loves us. pool. So I can get away for a few hours, shoot some pool and... Give me time to crochet. <laughs> I don't remember ever not believing in Jesus. My mom was awesome at making sure that um, he was, I knew who he was from the time I was a little girl. I remember her teaching Sunday school, coming to high school. Um, I kind of, I think, I don't know, I think Brian has the same story that kind of fell away from church a little bit, didn't go as much, you know, didn't, we had other priorities. I wanted to be with my friends and whatnot. and. Um, so I, I, I guess at that point is probably, and you start seeing what's happening in the world, that's kind of when it kind of started to be, well, who is God in my life and, and whatnot. So I had a really strong foundation and then started to fall away in high school. What about you? So, yeah. Um, uh, Jesus was pretty much in the, you know, in the family since I was, I can't even remember. Um, church was still a big part through high school until towards the end where there was problems in my parents' relationship, which kind of took a toll on me. Um, so, kind of moved away, figured God would always be there, you know, could always come back. Um, plenty of time to do something I want to do, and um, probably took five years, six years. Yeah. Before we came back and started going to church regularly. Yeah, so we were, we got pregnant early. I was in my late teens, I was only, I was finishing high school, so we didn't get married right away. But we we had we had a, a baby early on, and my son and I lived with my mom at first. We kind of waited to to get married, and so we were what I was almost 25. You were a little bit older. Um, our son was five when we we first um, started living together full time, and that was hard. I think early on in our marriage. Um, was faith a p component of it? So yes and no. We shared the same faith. We, we wanted our kids to grow up in that faith, but and to have that background. But I'm not sure that we always invited Jesus into our marriage. Um, we were very focused on the kids and Brian and I learning how to figure out how to raise a kid together. Um, we wanted to have another baby at that point in time already. I was focused on my career. We ended up we ended up fighting a lot, actually, at that point <laughs> as we were figuring it out. So, um, what do you think? The smallest of arguments would turn into days long, you know, a day long fight. Yeah. Um, and you don't even know when, you know, why you're fighting. Right. So, I guess, you know, bringing Jesus into the, into the mix there, if we would have, I think we would have had a lot of, you know, better chance. Yes, absolutely. So, I think because of that arguing and not knowing how to how to do being married and not inviting God into it, we probably we drift. I not I don't think I know we drifted away emotionally and eventually we kind of ended up getting we didn't kind of we ended up getting divorced. We ended up getting divorced, but after what a year, two years, not even a year of being actually finally the date happening and us separating, we maybe not even that long connected and because we still had kids and we still had a church that really encouraged both of us to be part of the li or their lives. Not that we wouldn't have, but it, so it was great to be able to come back together and we were at events and just reconnected and reconnected as friends rather than trying to force being married and trying to figure out life and I think that was huge for us. Um, and I, the verse I always think of, and it's one of my favorite ones, is around um, 
God knowing that he has plans for us and that they're good, I think even though it was hard to go through, it was meant to be. We just spent a lot of time together and reconnected and we, I don't know why we actually finally, we finally just looked at each other and said, why aren't we doing this as a married couple anymore? And it makes sense, but we came back together as friends and we got married at the same church that we had been going to for a while, a Wells Church. Um, and the pastor, we chose um, a Bible verse for that love is patient, love is kind, it's on the fridge, um, from Corinthians. And that moment when he was um, doing the sermon for the, for the wedding, the, or the message, or whatever you want to call it, I don't think I realized what was that verse really meant and that love is Jesus, right? And he, he went into this big spiel about it. And it was the, that moment where I really wanted to make sure that we had <clears throat> God and Jesus in our lives. So there was, so at that point we, had, it, we, we got married on New Year's Eve, we moved, and we did like, we did like four different things. We hosted a, our wedding dinner, it wasn't really a huge thing, but all right within a one month period and bought a house. <laughs> did I mention that? So we, <laughs> we bought a house out in Ottawa. And so then we're now moving about 45 minutes away from where we were looking for a new church home and we tried the Wells churches again and but one of the Wells churches was Hope Lake Country and for some reason I kept saying I don't I don't like these other and Brian was he was he liked one of them or you know he likes the tradi more traditional churches but um, I really liked I wanted to try Hope and it kept calling to me and I think once we got there, or once I, I actually signed, I went, I snuck away and I went to a service <laughs> and I signed up for life group. And I said, I got home and I'm like, he'd, certainly he's not gonna complain about me being gone on a Wednesday night to this life group thing, right? Um, and instead of complaining, he said, well, can I come too? I'm like, of course you can come too. And all of a sudden we are part of a, a church that is, um, that obviously God was pushing us there. Um, helping us, one, bring other people to faith, so it's encouraging us to do outreach and serve and volunteer and be part of something. And those life groups were pretty awesome because all of a sudden we are praying with community and um, studying scripture. Yeah, the groups kind of created more for you to be able to talk not only with, you know, with her, but, you know, with other friends and do life, do life yeah. with Christians, which was a whole new experience for us. So, yeah, I mean, even though we were, we were part of right Saint Jacoby and all those with all those oh, parents yeah. all the time, it wasn't the same. You weren't connecting in a, a certain way. So, how would you say your relationship with God has changed over the years? For me, definitely just being a believer and knowing, to having a relationship, to turning to Him, to in prayer to knowing that you know what it's not life is not perfect and something's always going to be coming your way and you're gonna to have to deal with it and instead of panicking or being scared turn to God take it to God in prayer look for listen look for his words of where he wants you to go where his encouragement is so. whatever happens is in God's hands mm -hmm. so. so your marriage is perfect now right right no <laughs> He still wears his shoes around the darn house all the time. She says I get home too late from pool. He does. But, no. She doesn't crochet my afghan quick, quick enough. enough. <laughs> but, <laughs> But if there's someone that's wrestling or like going through with some of what you experienced, what would you say to them? Know that God has a plan for you and, and he knows what those plans are and that they're good. Um, and listen to what he has to say and hope find a find a find a life group because that will be life changing if you're not in one already